Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. It's been a while, but it's time for a good old-fashioned Kingdom Death proper unboxing and building video. Today we've got the generic class, that's what the G stands for, is their generic class, you know, system agnostic, use it for whatever you feel like, the Energy Potion Maker. Whew, and that box is quite potent. So... This is going to be a fun one for me. I missed the original first run. I had a chance and it sold out while I was trying to get it in my shopping cart. I knew I was on vacation or somewhere when she came out. And just, I really dug how she looked. Very colorful, fully clothed, which is a bit of a twist for, you know, Kingdom Death models. She still has those Chun-Li thighs and a very Rubenesque figure, as my family likes to describe it. Let's take a look at what we're getting ourselves into here. Okay, a couple of parts. That's always going to be a fun challenge. So first off, she's got this giant sack of potions. Almost looks like a couch cushion she's carrying around with her. She's got her I Dream of Genie bottle. Whether there's a genie or not, I don't know. And if it's a Kingdom Death one, I certainly don't want to know. We've got racks and racks of potions that are going to go around her waist, I'm assuming. We've got something, oh, okay, there's two things stuck to each other here. This would be her other hand. Some kind of concoction spewing out. It'll be fun to paint. This is going to be a really colorful model, I think, by the time I'm done. Now, that veil, <laughs> yeah, uh, that veil is just going to get painted solid. Sorry, guys, I have nowhere near that skill. Man, maybe I'll try it, I don't know. The hair it could be a challenge, though. I don't know, I'll think about it. I want to paint the veil or not. And then finally, the body. Now, this is good old-fashioned resin, Kingdom Death resin. And not homegrown resin like the novice. This is still done by their manufacturer in France, as far as I know. Haven't heard any different on this one. So yeah, these are some big thighs and tiny little waist there. But I think that's also because of the potions that are going to be clogging up all of the available space on the model. So, not too bad. I mean, the parts are pretty decently sized. I'm not gluing individual hands or wisps of hair, at least, other than this big giant chunk. So, that's a plus. Not too bad. Like, six parts? We can handle that. So, give me a sec. We'll put her together. We'll grab a whole bunch of other Kingdom Death models, and we'll see how she turns out compared to the rest. All right, we got our energy potion maker all done, for the most part. Now, sadly... There was a little wisp of hair that was attached to her head, and it snapped off. It just did not want to survive, but otherwise, she is pretty much all set. Her hair and her head did not really want to line up. Um, when you're building this model, I absolutely suggest you have to put the arms on first, then you're going to put her racks of potions, and then finally the hair, and then finally the head. That is the correct order. I do not recommend doing otherwise. And it's not like I'm speaking from experience or anything. Yeah, I kind of made a mess, but we got her all taken care of. But I really dig it. You know, number one, I like the kind of Middle Eastern kind of traditional look going on here. It's different. It's not the usual Kingdom Death. Uh, even the over-exaggerated curvaceousness of her body is really subdued, especially with all of the extra gear. And looking at the artwork again on the card... It's just really colorful. I really like that about this model. So hopefully I can do it justice. Uh, grabbing some other Kingdom Death models. Handy. Why these are handy, I don't know. It's not like I was using these models in the game. But yeah. Actually I've been spending way too much time building armor kits at the moment. So yeah, you can see she fits in pretty nicely with a nice cross selection of modern Kingdom Death models, both resins and plastics. So if you plan on doing any kind of bizarre adventuring, or if you just want to have 
your survivors completely replaced with more interesting and exotic models, I think she's going to fit in fine, especially if you painted them up. If you're not going to be using her with Kingdom Death models, just so you are aware, because I've mentioned it many times, but it always bears repeating, Kingdom Death models tend to be a little bit bigger than more traditional, average, fantasy human lines. And if you want to get into more esoteric metals and resins at that point maybe you're going to find some stuff they're kind of like the same size as twisted uh privateer is a lot closer i think in size but even they are a bit shorter compared to kingdom death malifo comes pretty close as well wild west exodus um we can go on and on about that but none of that's really relevant at the moment i have seen her pop back up for encores so if you are interested in the model uh, don't go spending tons of money on the secondhand market i mean unless you really want to in that case, I'll sell you mine, but no. Um, honestly, she'll probably show up again in the near future, so do not succumb to the ridiculous prices, or unless you find somebody willing to haggle on it. So, cool model, a bit different than the usual Kingdom Death Fair, and something we want to encourage Mr. Poots and all of his sculpting team to continue to you know, diverge into new and different looking lines of character design. With that said, this has been High Lord Chamberlain with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.